So now that we have everything that we need to write to our web services, let's write a simple web service. Um, this is Eclipse. I just opened it. You can just open it by double click on it. And then under Project Explorer, the new project, then scroll down and pick Web Project, and then Dynamic Web Project, then click Next. Uh, we're going to name the project Simple Web Service. Then we're going to click Next, Next, and then Finish. And now Eclipse is going to create our web project. We're going to open the web project under Web Content, right click, do New. JSP file, and then we're just going to name um, JSP file simple web service, and then we're just going to click finish. And you can see that we just created a JSP page in Java. We're just going to close it for now. And then we are going to go to Java Resources, and under Source, we are going to right-click and select New, and then we are going to choose a package, and we are going to name the package com.web.admin. You can name your package anything you want. This is just um, what I chose to name my package. And then we are going to right-click on the package. And select new class. We're gonna name it simple web service class. And then we're gonna click finish. And you can see that Eclipse created our class. Now we're just gonna save it. And just on the top of the class, we can add an annotation at web service. This annotation tells Java that this class is a web service class. And with the help of Eclipse, we are going to import our libraries for the web service. And now we have a web service class. We need a constructor for this class. So we just add that. And we need a function to handle our web service call. We'll call the function get answer. Let's make our function take one argument just to keep it simple and take an argument of type string and it's going to return one string it just say return and we're just gonna call it hello plus the arguments so for example if we pass Bob it's gonna say hello Bob and then if we pass Jim it's gonna say hello Jim and then we're gonna save So let me deploy this to the server and see if it works. So right click on the project and click run on the server.
So they just choose our server, say next, 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 and finish. And now our server is deploying our artifacts. Thus our server is up and running, we should be able to go to it and see the deployed artifacts. So let's just go to our web logic and enter our username and password. Then let's log in. Let's click on deployment. This is where our artifact get deployed every time we deploy. And you can see under web services, there is web service, there is our web service class. So we just click on it. I then go to testing, then expand. And you can see in the second column, there is what we call the whistle. So we're just going to click on that. And now you should be able to access your web service. And this is your web service. We are going to go through this later and explain this whole wisdom. But for now, this is our web service. And you can see that just by adding that annotation at web service, Java was able to create all this information for you and publish this web service for you.